Hey everyone, back again with another quick review. This time, I'm uh, taking a look at the Jawbone Era. Uh, this is a Bluetooth headset um, put out by the company Jawbone. Um, and I picked this up because I actually, in my state, there's a law that you need to have um, a Bluetooth headset, hands-free driving, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I had been using my speakerphone and I was questionably, the speakerphone on my uh, cell phone, so I wasn't touching it, but I was questionably pulled over. Um, but either way, I picked up a headset, um, you know, just to kind of cover my bases. Uh, but this headset, um, it's, it's pretty pricey, but you kind of get what you pay for. Um, I read a bunch of reviews. I'm not a big fan of the in-ear style, but, you know, this is a lot more useful than some of the strict through the car speakers solutions that are going on. Um, so we'll get to this in a minute. Uh, I want to take a look at kind of like the packaging. Um, now this has been open, I've been using it for a while, so bear with me. Um, basically comes in a box, it has a slip cover. Um, you know, cover comes off and you kind of get this. Uh, so you get the headset itself in the box. You get a bunch of different kinds of uh, ear, not even really ear buds, ear pads I would guess. Um, you get one of these which is a hook uh, which is kind of you know like added you know security for the headset um, and you get two different kinds of of like ear buds. Um, I don't know how well these are going to show up. You have these with like a circular pad that rests in the groove of your ear um, Again, for kind of added security, added stability, and then you get your essential, or your essentially a donut um, kind of design there. Uh, and you get a charger, um, which I'm going to talk about right now. Um, so let me get that out of the way. Uh, this is the charger that comes with it. Um, it has a pathetically short cord. Now, this. Uh, Bluetooth headset, you can actually plug into your computer, go onto their website, and tweak settings, which is really cool. Um, now, the headset isn't heavy, but you know, you kind of have to plug it in and let it just hang there because, again, this cord is just oppressively short. Um, typical charger kind of thing, um, you know, the prongs come out. Um, and this tiny, I don't even know what the length is, but it just sucks. Uh, but it is, I believe, micro? Yeah, it's micro USB. Um, so you can substitute with any other micro USB. Most phone chargers or the like uh, will handle this. So let's get to the headset. Uh, the headset itself, and again, I don't know how well this is going to show up. Um, the headset itself is, is very simple. Um, you have the ear pad uh, on the back, um, so that part actually goes into your ear. There's a little switch right here. Um, I don't have a macro lens, so this is going to be a little difficult. A uh, little switch, you flip it to turn it on. Um, that turns the phone on. This little circle here rests against your chin, and Jawbone has a noise assassin technology. Uh, that technology is supposed to reduce any outside noise, um, ambient noise, while you're making calls. And from what I've heard, it actually works pretty well. When I made calls with people, uh, they've commented on the fact that, yeah, they couldn't really hear music playing in my car or, or the wind or anything like that. Um, so that's neat. Uh, there's only, here's where the charger goes, uh, right up top here, in this curved area. Um, and you have one button here. Now this button, again, through the software solution on the Jawbone website, you can set that to be a volume adjust button, although it's a singular button, so you kind of have to cycle through every volume. Or you can set it for um, voice dialing. Uh, now that's processed through your phone, but it's pretty neat. You just hold it in, it says please speak command, and you can speak the command. Um, now it's, it's very nice, it's black, you can get it in a couple different colors or whatever. Um, this is kind of bumped and grooved, I forget what exactly this is called, they have little names for each um, like color and design. 
Um, but the really neat thing with this, and kind of stood out for me, is this has a built-in accelerometer. Um, so it has this like, they have clever names for it, I think it's like Shake Shake and Tap Tap. Um, but to pair with your device, you turn it on and then you just shake it four times. And that will pair it with your device as long as your device is in Bluetooth pairing mode. Uh, so that's kind of neat. That's how I did it the first time, um, and it worked really well. Um, the tap tap is actually the reason I kind of got this, because this uh, seemed really neat to me, seemed really convenient. Uh, basically, you know, this is in your ear, uh, you're on a call, and, you know, someone's calling you. That audio, you know, you'll get a notification call from, and it doesn't say names, but, uh, you know, call from and it'll list the phone number. And if you want to answer that call, all you have to do is tap two times on the side of the device. And the accelerometer recognizes that as accept call and it picks up the call. Same thing with ending a call. If you're done with a call, you tap it twice, um, again on the side, and it'll end the call. Um, that's really neat. I've actually used that a bunch of times. It works perfectly. Um, I can't say enough good things about that feature. It's definitely something that um, kind of sets this apart from a lot of the other headsets. Now, as you can see, it's very small. Um, I got the Era because there, there's also the Jawbone Icon. Um, and the Era is actually a little longer. I kind of wanted something that wasn't so tiny uh, that I would lose. Um, the air is a bit longer, but it's still very small. Um, in comparison, if you see my other videos, I, I have like the sideburns. Um, it only comes to like the front edge of my sideburns. Um, so very sleek, very nice form factor. Um, and on the Jawbone site, you can have like the internal voice that speaks to you, different things, you know, and it, it's like generic stuff, but you can have like superhero, spy, you know, all these things. Um, so it's kind of neat, kind of <laughs> makes you feel like a, a special agent or something like that. Um, last thing, and I forgot to mention this, this comes in the box, is a little carrying case. Um, <coughs> probably uh, very worth using. Because um, when I'm not using this, it has kind of, you know, almost like one of those money purses, um, just kind of snap shut. Uh, and the jawbone can just go in there and sit. And you don't have to worry about it getting dirty or anything like that. So, uh, definitely something to consider. Um, I'm still not a fan of Bluetooth headsets, and I still think, you know, it, it's good. the few stupid people ruined it for everybody else. I don't make a lot of calls in my car. But when I do, I was always super careful. But now that it's the law, it's kind of a necessity. And I'm very pleased with this one. Uh, it's definitely something that I would recommend if somebody is in the market for a Bluetooth headset. Uh, so that's my review, the Jawbone Era. Um, if you like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment. And uh, that's all I got. So I will talk to you guys later. Thanks.